Okay guys, so all the footage that you are about to see was captured with my Celestron Evolution 8 SCT. These telescopes are awesome for planetary observation. They're also really well for the moon, for solar observation with the sun using a good solar filter. They're great for stars. They're really good all around telescopes and I just can't say enough good things about it. Um, but I have found that the really, really strong suit is for solar system and planetary observations. In fact, they work so well, you don't even really need a dedicated astronomy or planetary camera to capture footage like this. All of the footage you're seeing and will see in this video was actually captured using my telescope and an adapter for my iPhone 13. And that's saying something. All you have to do is get your exposure and the brightness right and you can capture footage just like this with a telescope like mine. Now what I like to use for the planets is my Celestron zoom lens. It goes from 24 millimeters down to 8 millimeters. And what I usually do is I set it on 8 millimeters and I stack that with a 3x Barlow lens and you get up close, very vivid, very detailed footage, just like you're seeing here. The only downside to doing that is you get an extremely narrow field of view. But if all you're concerned about is getting up close and getting as much detail as you possibly can, then I recommend trying an eight millimeter lens stacked with a 3X Barlow. Now, if you try this without a tracking mount, like the one that comes on the Evolution or even the Nexstar 8 SE, you're going to have a really hard time and it's just not going to work out well. You really need a good tracking mount in order to capture footage like this. Another plus side to using an iPhone to record your footage like this is you can really easily zoom in up to three times further using your iPhone camera. In a way, you can triple the magnification that you've already got by using your eyepieces just by zooming in with your iPhone camera, which is what I do most of the time. And it works really, really well. And this clip right here is probably my favorite Jupiter footage that I've ever captured, and I caught it using my iPhone as a camera. Now you're also going to want a really good adapter. Don't cheap out on the adapters. I found that the cheap adapters don't work well and they tend to break really easy. As I've said before, Jupiter and all the planets for that matter are extremely bright. So you're going to want to learn how to adjust the exposure and the brightness levels on your iPhone or smartphone, whatever device you're using. If I had to rate this telescope on a scale from 1 to 10, it would be an 11. The Celestron Nexstar Evolution 8 is just a phenomenal piece of equipment. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And as always, God bless.